today I have a fun cut for you guys. This one's going to be a long textured bob. It's going to be all dry cutting and I'm starting by taking my section above the occipital bone and cutting a blunt line using point cutting. The shape I'm creating is going to be shorter in the center and getting longer towards the jaw. Next you're going to want to go in and soften and round out that shape with some graduation. You want to over direct all of your sections straight back. I'm using a point cutting technique to really soften those edges. Because of the over direction, you're going to notice that the layers are going to be shorter at the center and getting longer towards the perimeter of the haircut. Here's a great example of what adding graduation does. You can see the soft curvature line that was added to the shape. Next, we're going to drop down the top and sides and comb the hair into natural fall. Starting in the center back, you're going to take a vertical subsection over directed straight back. I'm utilizing the pieces from underneath as my visual guideline as to where I'm going to start my tease cutting technique. The tease cutting technique is going to give us a really airy feel to our texture. This is what's going to keep a haircut that normally has a very strong shape super airy and whimsical. I love using this technique because it gives us a really strong line, but also very soft edges to that strong line. It's a great way to really modernize this haircut. Still bringing everything straight back, you're going to be using your shears in a half open, half closed method. This is going to give us a strong line with soft edges. If you open and close with a longer stroke, it's going to give you a really soft and airy feel. If you open and close with shorter quick strokes, it's going to make your line a little bit more solid. So depending on where you're at on the head will determine what type of stroke you need to take. As I'm over directing these pieces back, you can see the shape start to form. We're creating that very asymmetrical A-line look, keeping it shorter in the back and longer in the front just from the over direction. Now, you certainly could over direct this to center back. It would just increase the length in the front. This is a great haircut for someone who has mid length hair, who wants something different, but is kind of afraid of change. They're still able to hit it with a curling iron. They can even put it in a ponytail. It would be a small one, but they could still do it. Again, we're using a tease cutting technique, over directing everything back to really create that shape. After the tease cutting, I'm going through on the perimeter and defining the shape. So now I'm going through with point cutting, only because when you do a tease cutting technique, you do get a super frayed edge, which is great. It's what we want. We want to see the texture, but going through with point cutting really allows you to just refine the shape a little bit more. It's like doing a really extreme deep point cut when you do tease cutting. So this is a great way to define your shape. As you can see with the sections I'm pulling out, it still creates a solid line, but just going through with point cutting really helps clean up the edges a little bit more. All right, now we have the finished shape. So I'm just going through and checking for balance and weight distribution. I used some of my favorite tools for this cut. I used my Hanzo shears and my Sambia cutting combs. For styling, I'm going in with a Marcel iron and just wrapping pieces around. I don't want my waves to come out too curly, so I'm really just wrapping them once, maybe twice, depending on the length I'm working with. Working my way around the head, I'm just twisting the hair around the iron. I'm not even going to bother picking up the bottom pieces that are a little bit shorter. It's going to give me an added texture and leave the length of the shape. Once I finish wrapping everything away from the face, I'm going to be using my Whey Texturizing Hairspray. I love this stuff. It smells amazing, it's not too crunchy, and it gives the hair a really soft yet textured and airy feel. So now I'm just going through and shaking out the waves, checking out that shape, and seeing how everything's falling. I love that this cut is a combination of really easy maintenance, plus you get to keep all that length in the front so you have a lot of versatility. I decided to go through and add more of that way texturizing hairspray. This stuff is so amazing. You can see as I'm layering on an additional layer of the texturizing hairspray, the texture really come to life. That's it folks. I hope you enjoyed this haircut as much as I did and thanks for watching.